G'day everybody, I'm just out taking Bobby for his afternoon walk. Otherwise all he'd be doing is sitting around and eating dog biscuits and watching TV. And you know what they say, a happy puppy is a healthy puppy. Call the Bob Ryan! Call the Bob Ryan! Look! The pet shop! The pet shop! Can we go in? Can we go uh, in? I don't know, Bob. I mean, I we're know, supposed to be... I know! Yeah, I'm supposed to be taking you on your afternoon walk so you don't sit around watching TV and eating donuts all day. <laughs> but please, call the Bob Ryan, please! I want to catch up with the Daily Gossip. Well, I suppose so, Bob. We'll make it quick. Come on. Let's go. See, everything's fine, yeah. Hey, Bob, what you up to? Oh, hi. I'm just reassuring them, Gordon O'Brien. Some of them say they've heard stories that people don't take care of their pets. But I told them it wasn't true. Hey, guys. Come with me, Bob. OK. Sadly, it's true, Bob. Some pets aren't taken care of properly. Being a pet owner takes a great deal of work. A lot of work? How do you mean, Gotham O'Brien? I'm a breed to take care of. <laughs> well, of course you are, Bobby, but <laughs> all pets are different and they all have different needs. Well, I want to do my bit, Gotham O'Brien. I want to be a responsible pet owner. But you don't have a pet, Bobby. Well, <laughs> we're in the right place then, aren't we? <laughs> Constable Ryan didn't think I was old enough to have a pet yet, but he agreed that I should learn about responsible pet ownership. So we came to a compromise. <laughs> so can I please introduce my new pet, Fido? I don't know how practical this is going to be, Constable Brian. How many people in New Zealand have a gorilla? Bobby, I'm a dog. Are you sure, Constable Brian? Absolutely sure, Bobby. And I'll tell you what, Bobby, I'm getting mighty hungry at the moment. Well, you know where the kitchen is, Fido. <laughs> uh -huh. But I don't, Bobby. You see, I'm a dog and you're a responsible pet owner, which means you've got to give me fresh water and make sure that you feed me two to three times a day. Can't I just give you a really big meal once? Nope, because then I'll get overweight and that would be mistreating me. OK, got the ball, Brian. <laughs> bon appetit! Well, they look really, um, delicious, Bobby. They sure are. All dogs love dog biscuits. Well, most dogs do, Bobby, but me, I'm a special type of dog. I like mm, T-bone steak with just a little bit of mushroom sauce on it. Hmm. Maybe I'll, uh, just call out for pizza. Ooh. Boy, I'm tired. Where am I sleeping tonight, Bob? In your bed, Gotham O'Brien. And where's that? Oh, it's just down the... Oh! Oh, I get it. As a responsible pet owner, I have to provide you with a bed, don't I? That's right. Food, shelter, water, exercise and bedding are the most important elements of pet ownership, Bobby. <laughs> oh. Oh. What are the Fido? What's wrong, mate? Oh! Bobby, I don't feel so good. Oh, it must have been that pizza you fed me. Oh, it's no good for me at all. Oh. oh, oh can you tell me what to do? Well, I'll be all right, but see, that's the thing about pets, Bob. They can't tell you what's wrong with them. So if I was a real dog, you'd have to take me to the vets now. Well, oh, being a responsible pet owner is a lot of work. To be a responsible pet owner, you need to provide your pet with some basic needs. You've already taken care of some already, Bobby. Food, shelter and bedding. And entertainment, Constable Brian. That's right, Bobby. Lots of fun and exercise. Are that pet thick, Constable Brian? Not necessarily, Bobby. Another thing that a responsible pet owner will do is make sure that their pet stays healthy with regular checkups, flea treatment, deworming and immunisation. Immuni... Immunise what? Immunisation. It's where the pet, usually a cat or a dog, gets an injection to stop them from getting certain diseases. I still don't know how you guys managed to do this. It's so much easier with your hand. So I need to get you immunised, dewormed, flea treatment, 
Oh, wow. Well, there's so much to do. You have to do it with all new cats and dogs, Bobby, and then regular trips to make sure that we stay in tip-top condition. It says there's something else here I should get done when I take you to the vet. What's that? It says I should get you... Uh, neutered. <coughs> I don't understand, Constable Bride. What's neutering? Well, it's a small operation, Bobby, that some owners give their kittens and puppies to make sure that they don't have kittens and puppies. It means they can't breed. Well, that seems a bit sad. Why do people do that? Well, let me show you. Why are those pets in jail, Constable Brian? Oh, have they been naughty? Not at all, Bobby. Some of these pets are lost, some are strays, some are abandoned by their owners. Why would anyone abandon a pet? We're so adorable. Well, you are, Bob, but there's <laughs> lots of reasons. Mostly people have kittens or puppies that they don't want, so they dump them. That's why it's always a good idea to have your animal neutered. But don't worry about it, Bob. You're not going to end up at the SPCA. And here's why. Oh, I've got some of those too. I always wondered what they were. Those are dog registration tags, Bobby. And what that means is that if ever you get lost, whoever finds you can look up the number on your tag and get you back to me. And I always thought they were the prize you got in a packet of dog biscuits. What about other pets, Constable Brian? How do you take care of them? Good question, Bob. Just imagine that instead of buying a puppy, I'd brought a bird. <laughs> now, most birds need a really good-sized cage, Bobby, to move around in. And also, it's better to buy more than one bird because otherwise they get bored and lonely. And fresh food and water is important also. And don't forget that birds can be really, really noisy. So don't put them too close to your neighbour's bedroom window. Squawk! Oh, what if you can't afford more than one bird, Constable Bryant? Squawk! Hey, good question, Bobby. Well, then you can always buy a mirror, and that way they'll think they've got company. Oh, come on, Constable Bryant! <laughs> oh, not fully... Oh, oh, hello there, sweetheart. No, oh, what's a good-looking birdie lying in a cage like this, eh? Who's a pretty girl, then? Who's a pretty girl? <laughs> Now, rabbits and guinea pigs can be kept together, but both need to be handled with extreme care. They can actually be frightened to death by rough handling. Also, rabbits love to chew things. So if you're the type of person that will let your rabbit roam around the house, make sure all the cables are up high. Hey, what's that? Hey, it's my comic. Yeah, but Constable Brian, yeah, it's so delicious. Now, mice and rats are among the easiest of pets to care for. They're clean, they enjoy human company, and they're also great fun to watch. But again, make sure you get more than one to prevent loneliness. Can I be a dog again, Gotham will ride? I don't like being this low on a food chain. I'm beside myself. Better? Oh, yeah, but I still have a strange craving for cheese for some reason. Bob. Aren't you bored yet, Fido? No, dogs need a lot of attention and exercise. Try it again, Bob. All pets have five main needs. Food, water, shelter, exercise and bedding. Every pet's needs will be slightly different. Kittens and puppies need to be taken to the vet to get them immunised. And then they need regular trips to keep them in tip-top condition. Always make sure your dog is registered. And finally, remember that your pet depends on you completely to look after them, so don't let them down. Hey, very nicely said, Bobby. Why, oh, thank you, Constable Brian. Hey, oh, why haven't you got your dog suit on? Well, I've got to be honest with you, Bobby. I had to take it off. It was making me feel a bit uncomfortable. Oh. How come, Constable Brian? I don't think I'm used to having so much hair, Bobby. <laughs> oh, well, you know what they say, Constable Brian? No, what's here, that, Bob? Here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, see you next time. And remember, think smart. Stay safe. And keep you cool. <laughs> here today, gone tomorrow. I want to be a responsible. Responsible. Though. Responsible. Oh, oh Bob, what up? Hey, Bob, I've been meaning to tell you, I'm thinking about getting a kitten. Just teasing, mate. Oh. <laughs>
Hope for not funny. For more info about this program and some cool things to do, visit www.brianandbobby.co.nz. Just make sure it's Brian with a Y. Brian and Bobby brought to you by Blue Light Venture Van Trillium Trust with the help of New Zealand on here.